everyone, it's Philippe Hertel again. Uh, we are back in uh, in Aston for the second round of the championship. As you can see, we are not in, in the hospitality. We are uh, back in our new truck, in, in my new changing room. And uh, yes, uh, we are back racing. And uh, this is the second episode of, uh, of our journey. Nice, Philippe. And um, how was your first race uh, in World Superbike? Uh, the first race in Aragon was uh, was good. I think we did some uh, good results, especially in the two main races, race one and race two. We finished thirteenth, and uh, I think it was uh, was a good race. We learned a lot, and uh, I think we can uh, uh, take the best out of it and try to to confirm it here in Assen. For the first time, you faced uh, three races in a weekend. How did you manage them? Um, yes, of course, three races are something new, uh, especially uh, the, the sprint race uh, was interesting, uh, especially with the tire choice we did, um, I think it was, was the right decision to ride with the Q, especially uh, it, it gave us some information for, uh, about the tire for the future. Uh, oh, it was, was good, I think after the last race I was, uh, was finished, but I think that's okay. Um, but I'm happy to do three races because I can learn even more. Nice. And uh, what were your biggest difficulties? Um, I think towards the end of the race it was a little bit more difficult to, to understand the bike, how it reacted to the, to the used tire. But uh, I th we had, after the race we had long, uh, long meetings and uh, we discussed what we can try for, for, for this weekend. And I think uh, we, we can find a good solution and uh, be a little bit stronger at the last part of the race. Are you happy with your first weekend? Yes, I'm, I'm happy with our first weekend. Uh, I think it was, was good. Um, we had a quite consistent weekend and uh, can't wait for the second weekend now. All right, Philip. And uh, we know that uh, last week uh, you were busy in uh, Le Mans 24 hours. Yes, uh, 24 hours of Le Mans was, uh, was not planned. Um, but it was a great uh, opportunity. Uh, I always wanted to ride a 24 hour race and uh, on Tuesday 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh, Xavi wrote me a WhatsApp and uh, whew, so it was very short because on Wednesday evening I was in, uh, in Le Mans and on Thursday morning there was the first practice. Uh, it was a tough race but it was a really great experience especially with uh, David Checker and Xavi Forrest was uh, was really nice and uh, we had some problems in the race but it was a, it was a great experience. And how important uh, is the feeling with the, the teammates? Uh, of course in a 24 hour race you, you have uh, two teammates and uh, you, you ride together with them so uh, you, you cannot change the bike so much to your preferences you have to ride it uh, how everyone prefers the bike is, it's not so easy, but if you're not complicated, normally it's, uh, it's not a big problem. Uh, but with Xavi and uh, David, it was, uh, was very easy. Uh, we had a good connection, we had a lot of fun, uh, and it was, was great to, to ride with them. How does it mean uh, to compete for 24 hours in a row? Oh, it's tough, it's really tough. Uh, you're minimum one hour on the bike, uh, and that's really long. Uh, it's like a MotoGP race, but after the MotoGP race you have to do five more laps and then you have one and a half hours of break and then you have to do it again like and this for eight times. So uh, I think this is a very, very uh, hard task, but uh, in the end you're just happy that you complete the, the race. You're really tired, um, everything hurts, um, but it's it's a unique experience, it's a unique experience and I think you cannot really prepare for it. And what's the toughest part of the race? Um, oh, it's tough all the way from the first stint to the last stint. Uh, especially in the morning, the, the first stint when the sun comes up, it's, it's uh, really hot because you, you made it through the night and uh, the sun is very very low, uh, you're tired, uh, but it's not getting any better towards the afternoon so um, I think 
the hottest part is in the morning, I think, but uh, in general it's so hot. And um, will you do other race uh, in your life, other endurance in your life? Uh, yes, uh, I think I will live a few years longer, so in the f far future for sure I will do a 24 hour race. Uh, I would do an 8 hour race soon, I would like to do it, but uh, 24 hours I think I will postpone it a little, some years. So thanks for watching everyone and uh, see you in the next episode in, in Estoril, will uh, we'll be a long break, I think four, four weeks, but uh, see you there, ciao ciao!